Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Palermo from Foul Mouth Football. Uh, hope everybody's having a great Sunday so far. Just wanted to get in early here and do a quick uh, stardom sit em for the weekend games that are being played um, and uh, touch base on just the Monday night game here. So uh, for week three, quick stardom sit em here. Um, without further ado, I'm just going to go, you know, game by game here and just kind of go each position, uh, wide receiver, running back, quarterback, and then defense. So um, first up, we're going to go ahead and, and review the uh, Lions-Ravens game. Um, most certainly start Lamar Jackson, 100%. Lions defense right now is too young. They're like Swiss cheese in the middle. Um, he's a big tuck and run kind of guy, so he's going to be finding seams everywhere down the field. So um, definitely going to go ahead and, and say start Lamar Jackson. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and say even though the offense or the defense uh, secondary of uh, the Lions are pretty banged up right now, I'm going to go ahead and say sit Sammy Watkins. I'm going to say sit Hollywood Brown. All right. Uh, start Mark Andrews. Um, tight end. Uh, reason why I think uh, Mark Andrews is going to have a big day is because uh, right now they're in the midst of, uh, when I say they, the Lions are in the midst of um, getting rid of Jamie Collins, which is their uh, seasoned, seasoned, quote unquote, um, inside linebacker right now. So, um, you know, there's a lot going on, a lot of moving parts with the uh, the linebackers and, uh, you know, the second level there. So um, I think the tight ends are going to have a big day tomorrow. Um on both ends of the ball, to be honest with you. So I'm going to go ahead and say start Lamar Jackson at quarterback, sit Hollywood Brown, sit Sammy Watkins, start Mark Andrews. Do not start either one of these defenses this week. All right. Lion side of the ball, I'm going to go ahead and say start Jared Goff as a QB2, not your starter. Uh, if you got him as a QB2 or even a super flex, throw him the super flex. He's good for about 20 points for you. Um, he's actually surprising a lot of people right now. So uh, pretty impressed with his gameplay right now, to be honest. So um, definitely start DeAndre Swift. Definitely start TJ Hawkinson. Do not start any of the wide receivers. Quintez Cephas, sit. Um, Tyrell Williams is still, you know, banged up a little bit. He's kind of a day-by-day a, a -day right now. So definitely have no wide receivers for the Detroit Lions in your starting lineup whatsoever. I would say Jared Goff is a nice super flex or QB2 for you. Um, definitely a Q, uh, RB1 in DeAndre Swift. Uh, Jamal Williams, maybe if you need him in the flex, um, but I would not I would not put him in as a starter for you as, a, as an RB1. Maybe an RB2, definitely a flex. Um, none of the Detroit Lions wide receivers, can't stress this enough, and definitely start TJ Hawkinson. All right, moving on to the uh, the next game here. I'm going to go ahead and go with the uh, the Washington football team and um, the Buffalo Bills. Uh, Washington football side of things. Uh, Washington football team, excuse me. Uh, Tyler Heineke. He is a gamer. I would say don't start him as your QB1, maybe a QB2 or Superflex, um, depending on what kind of style um, fantasy you, know, you guys got set up. Um, Antonio Gibson. I would say sit, sit Antonio Gibson, uh, Terry McLaurin, start, absolutely. Um, you know, I I wouldn't have much to say about, um, what's his name, Logan Thomas. Uh, not really feeling his vibe this year. I know he just got paid, um, good for him, but um, he's really not showing too much of anything this year. I think he's averaging, what, 37 and a half yards a game or something like that. Um, so sit um, Logan Thomas at tight end. Um, start Terry McLaurin. Do not start Antonio Gibson at running back. Tyler Heineke, or yeah, uh, Taylor Heineke, excuse me. Um, start at a QB2 or super flex. Uh, Bill's side of the ball, I would say definitely start Josh Allen. Um, he's a big quarterback. He's going to get... He's going to get rushed pretty hard with uh, Montez Sweat and um, Chase Young, but he is a gamer. He's a baller. He's going to find a way to get the ball downfield to his boy. Uh, and when I say his boy, I mean Stefan Diggs. Start Stefan Diggs. Start um, Josh Allen. 
sit Devin Singletary. That defensive line is just too strong right now. Um, definitely sit Zach Moss. I don't think anybody's really thrown him in anywhere too too often. So um, start Stefan Diggs. Do not start Devin Singletary. Start Josh Allen. You can start either one of these defenses because I think both defenses are going to show up and show out. Uh, both got strong defenses. I don't think it's going to be all too high scoring of a game. Um, so uh, you could start either Washington football team or the Buffalo Bills. All right, moving on to uh, the next game here. Uh, we got the Chicago Bears at the uh, Cleveland Browns. I'm going to go ahead and say start your boy Justin Fields. Why not? Give him his opportunity. Uh, what's the worst he could do? Fail? Who cares? Huge upside for the kid. He could tuck and run it. He's a big body. He looks like Cam Newton out there. Um, definitely accurate with the ball. He's got some. He's got some things to work through in the NFL. But um, I'd say start him as a as a QB two or even a super flex for you. Um, I like his upside this week. Um, he, he's just a young kid who's aspiring to, to be a starter, and he gets his opportunity. So. Um, might have a, a, a nice showing tomorrow. Um, on the other, or not the other side, excuse me, but the, uh, the skill positions, other skill positions, running back, I would say you're going to be okay starting David Montgomery. Um, he's been getting a lot of touches this year. Um, he's averaging about 84 and a half yards, 85 yards a game. A um, couple touchdowns here. So um, I'd say start David Montgomery. Um, let's see. Darnell Mooney, no, just just no. Don't start him. Um, he's basically their QB one right now. Allen Robinson's been kind of lost in translation here. So um, start Justin Fields, super flex or QB two. Uh, start David Montgomery. Uh, he's getting a lot of touches this year. Um, he's definitely you know moving the ball downfield. He's averaging a little under five yards per carry, which is over the league average. So. Um, I would say do not start any of the wide receivers for the Chicago Bears this week. So that's an Allen Robinson, Darnell Mooney, um, you know, Cole Komet at tight end, I would say sit. Um, not much upside there for him. But um, yeah, other side of the ball, I'm going to go ahead and go start Baker Mayfield. Guy's a gunslinger. He's going to be good for, you know, probably 20 plus points every single week for you. Um, start Nick Chubb, running back. Uh, <clears throat> Cleveland Browns, absolutely start Nick Chubb. Uh, start start Kareem Hunt in a, a flex or a super flex or even an RB2 if you need to. Um, he's got some upside too. He definitely gets uh, a little bit less workload than what uh, Nick Chubb does, but that's, that's to be expected when you have two uh, top dogs in your running back uh, backfield there. So uh, start Nick Chubb's uh, RB1. Kareem Hunt could be a nice RB2 or a flex for you. Baker Mayfield could be a nice QB1 for you. Uh, David Njoku, no. Sit him. Uh, Jarvis Landry, I think, is out this week, so uh, obviously that's a huge set. Um, I think uh, someone like an Anthony Schwartz could be a decent upside for you. Um, we'll, we'll see, maybe filling in the gaps where, uh, where Landry isn't. But OBJ, um, he's coming back this week, so um, definitely start OBJ. Um, Odell Beckham's definitely going to show up and show out, that, I think, this week. So, um, yeah. Higgins, uh, maybe a, a, a wide receiver three if you guys have three, uh, maybe even a super flex, but uh, I would definitely say stay away from him this week. Um, yeah, all right, so moving on here, Austin Hooper, I would say sit too. All right, next game here, we're going to go with the uh, Colts and the Titans. We're going to start with the Colts side of things. Um, it looks like Jacob Eason is going to be getting his first start. Um, sounds like... Uh, <laughs> Sounds like our boy Carson Wentz has two sprained ankles, I think it is. So, um, Jacob Eason, please sit him. Do not think there's going to be upside there for him. He's going to be a deer in headlights tomorrow. Um, I almost feel bad for him, but, um, yeah, I, I, I definitely would not start him in any super flex, QB2, whatever. Um, Jonathan Taylor, he's due for a big game. I would say start RB1. Um, he really needs to have that game right now because his starting quarterback is out so I think there's going to be a lot of pressure on him to produce um, I like him to have a few catches out of the backfield too um, and I, I think he's going to hit I think he's going to hit just under 100 yards in rushing 
uh, probably about 40 to 50 in receiving uh, with one score. So, um, so sit Jacob Easton, start Jonathan uh, Taylor, um, Nigel Hines. You know, he could be a nice. Um, I'm sorry, Nigel Hines, Naheem Hines. Um, he could be a nice uh, maybe super flex for you if needed, um, but I would say stay away from him. Um, <clears throat> And Michael, Pick, uh, Michael Pittman Jr., um, I would say sit him uh, just because he's got a new quarterback in town right now and nobody knows how Eason's going to play and react to the, to the game speed of, of the NFL right now. So um, I would say start Jonathan Taylor, bench Jacob Eason, uh, sit Naheem Hines, sit Michael Pittman. Uh, Jack Doyle, that's a huge sit. <clears throat> All right, Titan side of the things. Uh, Tannehill didn't have really all that great of a game last last week. Um, I think he's due again for a, uh, a good game. Um, I mean, he did throw for 347, but he got sacked three times, had no touchdowns, had no picks. He really didn't do too much. Um, you know, I mean, 347, that's a nice number, but honestly, that's not getting you anything um, in fantasy production. So, um, I would say uh, start Ryan Tannehill at a super flex. Or uh, QB2, uh, maybe look for some other options. Uh, quarterback number one there for you. Derrick Henry, it goes without, or without saying, uh, that's a huge start. You know, start him every single game, no matter what. You, you can't take him down, I'm sorry. That guy just moves piles, he moves, he moves mountains too. So, um, Derrick Henry, start. Uh, Ryan Tannehill, sit. Julio Jones um, and A.J. Brown, I would say start both. Um, both are wide receiver ones. You start them whenever you can. Um, and that's, uh, oh, I got away from the, uh, the, the defensive side of things here. So, uh, Colts defense, I would say sit them, uh, Titans defense, I would say start them just because of the new quarterback in town right now for Indy. Um, Chargers chiefs is the next game we're going to talk about here. Um, I would say start both, both quarterbacks, um, Justin Herbert and uh, Patrick Mahomes are both, uh, huge upside QB ones for you. Um, both are averaging over, you know, 330 yards a game right now. Uh, both right around that 340. Um, <clears throat> Austin Ackler, uh, he's been surprisingly un, under production right now. I, I, I thought he was going to have a much better year than what he has uh, shown so far. Um, even catching the ball out of the backfield, he's not really producing too much right now. I mean, he's only got nine catches in two games, and that's really where he made his name for himself, sitting behind Melvin Gordon uh, when Gordon was there. So um, I would say start Justin Herbert. St start Austin Eckler in a flex position. I wouldn't put him in as a Q or an RB1 unless you're in like a 12 to 14 man league and you, you have slim pickings right now but um he really needs to show something first before i put him in a slot of, of uh starting position so um i would say keenan allen that's a start most certainly mike williams that's a start most certainly both are qb or rb ones wide receiver ones can you tell it's late right now sorry about that uh wide receiver ones in their own right um keenan allen uh he's always going to get his mike williams he's always going to get his so um, I would definitely say start both of those guys at uh, wide receiver. Um, they're tight end. We got Jared Cook right now. I would say sit him. Um, not really producing too much in uh, fantasy football points for you. <clears throat> I would say um, do not start either one of these defenses this week because it's going to be a very high scoring game. I think the over under is almost 56 points. Um, Patrick Mahomes, that's going to be a start in my eyes, no question. Clyde Edwards Delaire, I would say sit him. He has not done a friggin' thing this entire year. Um, very, very uneventful um, under production right now. Um, Tyree Kill, that's a start every week until you know further notice. <clears throat> um, Travis Kelsey, that's a start every week until further notice. Uh, Mikael Hardman, I would say he is going to be a super flex um, or wide receiver three, if you guys have a three wide receiver league. Um, yeah, but um, I would say definitely start Patrick Mahomes, start Tyreek Hill, start, you know, Travis Kelsey, sit uh, Hardman until further notice. Um, Robinson and Pringle as well. I mean, those are super flex people all day long. So, uh, again, sit both defenses, no doubt. Uh, Saints at Patriots. Um, 
definitely going to go ahead and say Jameis Winston uh, surprised a lot of people week one, did not surprise a lot of people week two with his performance, um, and that showed. I mean, he literally did absolutely nothing last week. Um, he had 111 yards and two interceptions, which is the normal Jameis Winston that we're accustomed to. Um, unfortunate, but yeah, I would say uh, sit um, Jameis Winston this week. Uh, Alvin Kamara, I think just because based off the fact there's a new QB in town uh, with the Saints, he's under he's under producing right now as well too. Um, he's only averaging about 44 yards a game rushing, and uh, I mean, geez, only under 20 yards receiving at this point so um he is a running back too right now in my eyes unfortunately huge upside of course with the, the dynamic player that he is but honestly i uh, i just can't see it him taking over as an rb1 for the rest of the year got to find a contingency plan with him in, in uh, st louis or yeah new orleans excuse me um receiving i i no, start. Do not start any one of the wide receivers for the uh, the Saints whatsoever. Um, none of them are showing any signs of life over there. Just because, let's face it, they got Jameis Winston as their quarterback. Uh, Patriots. Uh, Mac Jones. Uh, I would say start as a super flex or a QB two. Um, you know, Damian Harris. He's he's getting the rock a lot this year. Um, he's had you know 20 touches week one. You know, just under 20 week two. Uh, he's averaging about 75 yards a game right now, um, which is awesome. Good for him. Uh, actually, 81. I just looked it up. Um, I would say Damian, Har Damian Harris uh, as a start. <clears throat> James White is a super flex, if anything at all. Um, so I would stay away from him for right now. Um, Nelson Aguilar, you know, Kendrick Bourne, you know, J uh, Jacoby Myers. I would say sit all of them. Um, unfortunately, they're just, you know, obviously still working through a rookie quarterback at this point. Um, all of them in their own rights are in a new team, so they're trying to figure out their their uh, offensive scheme at this point and uh, what their role really is. So um, I would say start Mike Jones as a QB2 or super flex. Start Damian Harris as a uh, RB1. Uh, do not start any of the wide receivers for the uh, Patriots. Um, both defenses, I think, you can definitely start against rightfully, you know, on their own between the two of them. Um, I don't think either team's going to score too many points tomorrow. But all right, next game is going to be Falcons at Giants. Um, I'm going to say start Matt Ryan just for the fact that he's Matt Ryan. He might actually show up at some point this year. Um, he's very uh, under production uh, at this point. Um, Mike Davis, he's getting his touches taken by a uh, wide receiver at this point. Um, you know, it's really, it's, it's, I mean, Cordell Patterson is, is taking touches from him in the backfield. Um, he's taking catches out of the backfield from him as well, too. So uh, definitely sit Mike Davis. Uh, Calvin Ridley, you have to start him because at any point in time, he can, he can go for 30 for you. Um, again, he's only averaging about 57 yards a game right now. Um, Atlanta's offense, for whatever reason or another, is just sputtering at this point, and I think they're just in a downward spiral ever since they lost Julio. So um, start Matt Ryan just because the upside. Uh, sit Mike Davis. Start Calvin Ridley. Uh, even start Cordero Patterson in a super flex position um, or a wide receiver RB two, uh, two or three if needed. Uh, other side of the ball, uh, New York Giants. Um, start Daniel Jones. I mean, that guy's been... He's been playing, man. He's doing what he needs to do. I mean, I feel for him. He's on a shitty team. Um, he's got a lot of people putting him under the microscope. But, um, you know, he's he's been balling out the last couple of games. Records might not show that. Uh, but he himself has been playing well. And, you know, he's averaging 258 yards a game in the air and another 61 on the ground with some tutties. So um, I would say, you know, give him a start as a QB1 or a super flex. Um, Sterling Shepard, he is balling out right now he's getting he's getting a lot of catches um i would say start him kenny galladay sit him kenny galladay went to new york giants just to have the same record one million dollars more than what the lions were offering him and uh to be getting the, the ball a hell of a lot less so congrats kenny you went after a hundred million or you went after a million dollars more and got many less catches um i would say don't start either one of these defenses 
um, at any point in time. I think both defense or offenses are able to uh, put up some points on the, on the scoreboard here. So um, I would say sit both defenses as well. All right, we're at the Bengals Steelers right now. Um, Joe Burrow is having a very tough year this year uh, to start out. Um, I would say sit Joe Burrow at this point. Um, he's maybe a QB, you know, two or a super flex. You can throw him in there. Uh, Joe Mixon, uh, RB1 all day long. Um, Chase Young, uh, you know, T. Higgins. Um, you definitely got to start both those guys. Um, both of them are having, you know, solid years. They're both, you know, getting themselves touchdowns at this point. Uh, Tyler Boyd, uh, he could be a nice Q, or, or wide receiver three or super flex if needed. <clears throat> um, Steelers side of the ball here, offense here. Ben Roethlisberger, sit him. I think he's dog shit. Um, I think he's past his prime at this point. Um, you definitely got to sit him or throw him in a super flex or QB2 role if anything, not a QB1. Uh, Najee Harris, you got to start him. Um, he showed some signs of life last game. He is a, he is a big boy. He, uh, he reminds me of like a Matt Forte type player. Um, runs up, you know, north and south. And then when he catches the ball out of the backfield, he's a nuisance um, coming out of the backfield. So strong, strong uh, RB. He's got a lot of upside to him. Start him. Um, wide receivers, Deontay Johnson. Um definitely got to uh he's out this week actually so not not even going to be talking about him uh chase claypool you throw him in a uh, wide receiver two three roll or super flex juju you can throw him in a uh, wide receiver one right now um or wide receiver two super flex so um tight ends eric ebron said he's done nothing he's a nobody to me uh, both defenses, I think you can start the Bengals defense more so over the Steelers. Bengals, uh, our Steelers offense has looked absolute dog shit the last couple of weeks. So, um, Moving on to the next game here, we're talking Cardinals at Jags. Um, obviously, Kyler Murdy, QB1 all day. Uh, he's balling out right now. That dude is a uh, fantasy nightmare for anybody that's playing him. Um, Chase Edmonds, I would say start him in a RB2 or super flex or flex position. Um, Rondell Moore, start. Start as a uh, wide receiver, one, two, three, flex, super flex. Put him in there. Put him in your lineup. Dude's balling. Good for him. Uh, obviously, D Hop, you start. Christian Kirk, you can start him as well. Um, I mean, Kyler's really spreading the ball around too. Um, he's got a lot of great options over there for him, so he he deserves to, uh, you know, or they just you deserve to start any one of those those players, those wide receivers, uh, even AJ Green if you need a flex or a super flex uh, filled. He's uh, he's he's not he's not doing so bad this year, so good for him. All right, Jaguar side of the ball. Um, Trevor Lawrence, he looks like absolute dog shit. He's thrown five interceptions in two games. Uh, he's got an overall rating of 57.1. Um, he is averaging, however, 225 yards a game, which is dog shit. Let's just throw that out there as well. Um, so uh, Trevor Lawrence, put him on the bench. Don't want to move until he's ready to move. Uh, James Robinson, poor guy's been forgotten about. I would say sit him. Um, Marvin Jones Jr., rebirth. I mean, not that he lost a step in, in Detroit because he was a hell of a wide receiver there too, but uh, I think he's taking ownership as the uh, wide receiver one in Jacksonville too. Um, he's definitely beating out DJ Chark this year. Um, so start Marvin, uh, Marvin Jones Jr. Um, DJ Chark, I would say put him in the uh, wide receiver two or three position, flex or super flex. Uh, LaVisca Chenault, um, I just, I don't know. He's not showing enough for me right now to say anything. Um, that's making me think he's worth starting, so I would say sit him. Um, defense, I would say sit them against the Cardinals. I would say Cardinals defense, start them against the Jags if needed. <clears throat> All right, Jets at Broncos, a 4 o'clock game here. Um, man, I got to tell you, Zach Wilson has been extremely disappointing this year uh, so far, so I'm going to go ahead and say sit Zach Wilson, considering he's got five picks and only two touchdowns. 
Uh, again, 56.1 QB rating. Now you're talking about QB1 and QB2 overall in this past um, NFL draft for 2021 in Trevor Lawrence and Zach Wilson, both having a QBR of 56.1 right now. Horrible. Both throwing five interceptions in two games. Horrible. Um, I would say, you know, I stay away from any of the running backs for the uh, the Jets because there's no clear, concise starter there. Uh, yeah, I mean, you got Michael Carter and you got uh, who Tyler Johnson, or I'm sorry, um, Ty Johnson over there. He came from Detroit. So, I mean, there's real no clear, concise starter over there. So I'd say sit both um, or any of the uh, RBs from the Jets. Uh, Corey Davis started out week one wide receiver. He really impressed me. He was somebody that I had in my uh, wide receiver two position in my fantasy, and he showed out. I was pretty excited about that pick for me. Um, but since then, obviously, he uh, did absolutely nothing last game. So um, I would say if you need him, wide receiver three or flex or super flex, uh, Elijah Moore, stay away from him. He's, he's a set. Uh, their defense, I would say stay away from them this week uh, against the Broncos. Uh, Broncos side of things, I would say start Teddy Bridgewater. I know I am this week. He's going to be in my super flex position because we do have two quarterbacks. Um, I like what he's doing right now. He's averaging almost a little under 300 yards a game. Um, he's got 120 QBR right now, um, and he does he rushes the ball too. I mean, he's not he's not out there putting up Michael Vick numbers, but he's also you know sustaining drives by you know doing the third and short and scrambling, getting the first down and giving him opportunity to get some points on the board. So start Teddy Bridgewater as a QB2 or a super flex. Uh, Melvin Gordon, I would say he's a start. Um, start him until further notice right now. He is the, uh, him and, and Javante Williams are kind of splitting uh, touches right now. But I think that Gordon being the seasoned bat, he's got a little bit more upside right now. Um, and uh, he's more sustainable. So I would say start Melvin Gordon. Uh, as an RB2. Uh, uh, Javante Williams could be a flex or a super flex for you. Um, Cortland Sutton, I would say start. He is the, you know, one guy right now who is uh, going to be Teddy's favorite, you know, target at this point. Uh, Noah Fant, he's got some upside to him, so uh, start tight end. Um, Timothy Patrick might be a nice flex or a super flex for you this week or a wide receiver three if needed. I think Jerry Judy's out for the next about eight weeks or what have you. Um, so, yeah. that's uh, And I would say start the Broncos defense over the uh, – or against the um, <clears throat> the Jets this week for sure. So, um, let's see here. Next game that we got on the docket, we got the Dolphins versus the Raiders. I would say um, definitely – um, sit Jacoby Brissett or Tua Tonga Bailoa, whoever you got, in, you know, whoever's playing this week, because I don't even know. Um, I think it might be Brissett. Mm. I think Tua's back actually. So I would, in any event, I would say sit both of them. Um, Miles Gaskin, not really showing too much this year. Um, he's averaging what, 37 yards a game right now, rushing. Uh, not much in receiving either. He's only got nine catches for 48 yards. So I would say uh, if you need him as a, you know, RB2 or flex or super flex, you can plug him in there. Um, but I would say stay away from otherwise. Um, Devontae Parker, he's a uh, wide receiver, 2-3, uh, flex, uh, super flex. So I would say start him if any one of those positions need to be filled for you. Uh, Jalen Waddell, he's got some great upside. I would say put him in wide receiver, 2-3. Um, or even flex, super flex position if needed. Um, definitely do not start the Dolphins defense against the Raiders. Raiders are coming out hot. Um, I think that Derek Carr is a start right now. He's a QB1 all day long. Um, Josh Jacobs, I'm pretty sure he's still banged up, so I think he's out this week as well. Uh, Kenyon Drake is getting the start there. Um, so Kenyon Drake is... Um, a start in a you know RB2 um, flex super flex position. Um, Henry Ruggs, I would say, uh, start as a wide receiver two or three uh, flex or super flex. Um, he's been balling out last game, he did excellent. I was super proud to see him um, catch that long ball for the touchdown because that's what he's meant for. Uh, Hunter Runfro, 
He's a uh, he's a little baller, man. I would say start him in a wide receiver uh, three position or a uh, flex or super flex. Uh, as far as the other wide receivers on the team, Brian Edwards, uh, Zay Jones, anybody like that, Willie Sneed, I would say sit for sure. Uh, Darren Waller is definitely a start uh, until further notice. And uh, I would say you would be okay with the Raiders defense starting against the Dolphins team right now. So start the um, Las Vegas Raiders defense. All right, and we're going to go ahead and uh, go with the Buccaneers-Rams game right now. Um, Tampa Tom, uh, definitely a start, no question about it. Uh, you start him until further notice. That guy's 44 years old, slanging the rock like he was 22 years old. Um, so good for him. He's a QB1 all day. Uh, Leonard Fournette has definitely owned that backfield this year over Lano Jones. Uh, so Leonard Fournette could be a, an RB2 for you, flex, super flex. Uh, sit Ronald Jones. He's been very disappointing this year. He's definitely the better runner, but he hasn't shown it yet. Um, Antonio Brown, I think, is out this week, so you're going to have to obviously sit him. Uh, Chris Godwin, A.J. Brown, or I'm sorry, Antonio Brown. Uh, Chris Chris Godwin, you start. Uh, AJ, or, uh, Antonio Brown, you sit, obviously, due to injury. Mike Evans, you start. Um, Rob Gronkowski is the... He's a, he's a touchdown machine. I mean, the guy, and him and Tom Brady are going to go down as the best tandem, I think, in NFL history between a, a quarterback and tight end. But, um, you know, definitely start Rob Gronkowski um, as your tight end one. Um, other side of the, the, uh, the, the ball here, the Rams, uh, you definitely start Matthew Stafford. He's found new life uh, in, in L.A., I mean, the guy's carrying 127, you know, QBR right now. He's averaging 300 yards a game, five touchdowns. Um, you know, start him all day until further notice. Um, I think Henderson, uh, Dar Daryl Henderson, is hurt this week, I believe. Um, so he's not going to be getting the start this week. So you got to obviously sit him. But normally I would suggest starting him um, just because he is getting the touches there. Um, Robert Woods. Uh, Cooper Cup, both definite starts for wide receiver one, wide receiver two, flex, super flex positions, wide receiver three if you have one. Um, Tyler Higby, uh, I would say start um, until further notice. He's not really playing too incredible, um, but I mean, who else? If you need a tight end, you know, I mean, the Rams uh, have that offensive explosion right now where they can. Uh, they can definitely put a tight end on the board for you if needed. Um, I would say stay away from both defenses this week because I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. Uh, Seattle at the Vikings. I would say you start Russell Wilson every single week until he makes you feel otherwise. He's carrying 146.9 QBR at this point, so uh, you keep him until uh, until he makes you feel otherwise. Chris Carson is a start. Um, that guy's a boss. He's got 30 touches, so he's averaging about 15 touches a game. Uh, a little under 7 yards a game right now. 4.2 average, two touchdowns. Um, I would say, uh, obviously, without any shadow of a doubt, Tyler Rocket, Lockett is a uh, cube, or wide receiver one all day long. Uh, DK Metcalf, wide receiver one, wide receiver two, flex, super flex. Um, and then um, what do we got here? Gerald Everett. As a uh, tight end, I mean, if you need it, he's there. If not, I would say sit him. Um, definitely not producing too, too much there. Um, other side of the ball, Vikings, Kirk Cousins, he's a QB1. Um, if you need him, he's surprisingly playing pretty well this year. Um, he's been very careful with the ball, not throwing any picks this year is incredible. He's carrying 112 QBR right now. So um, Delvin Cook, he's a definite start, no question, RB1. Um, Alexander Madison is a nice, you know, flex, super flex if ever needed. Um, I know, you know, Delvin's dealing with some some injuries right now, trying to play through it. So uh, you never know. He might might go out, you know, a couple plays here and there, and, and Madison can come up. So if you're looking for a uh, flex or super flex, uh, Madison might be a nice target for you. Um, Justin Jefferson, you know, Adam Thielen, definitely uh, wide receiver ones, wide receiver two, wide receiver three, flex, super flex. Um, you got K.J. Osborne, who's kind of come out in his own right. Had a uh, really big uh, showing the last couple of weeks, and good for him. 
I mean, he's, he's right around that 100-yard mark right now. Um, and he's got a tutty right now in his, in his back pocket. So um, if you're looking for somebody, K.J. Osborne might be a nice uh, wide receiver three or flex or super flex for you. Um, I would say definitely stay away from either one of these defenses. So sit the Seattle Seahawks and the Minnesota Vikings defense, no question. All right, the, uh, the Sunday night game, we're talking Packers versus Niners. There's going to be a lot of points, I think, scored here. Um, you definitely start Aaron Rodgers. You definitely start Aaron Jones. Uh, A.J. Dillon, he's not really being utilized to the best of his abilities. Um, he's really not showing too, too much right now. So I would say sit him if you have him on your roster. Um, Devontae Adams, that's a definite. Obviously, you start him all day long, even though he's got no touchdowns this year. But obviously, it's Devontae Adams. So you keep him starting until further notice. Uh, Aaron Jones, I'm, I'm sorry, Robert Tunyon. Um, you start, he's, he's a little baller. I, I like I like Tunyon a lot. So uh, you start them, or you start him uh, against Niners defense this week. <clears throat> Stay away from any of the other wide receivers for Green Bay because I just don't see them getting the ball too much. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, you can throw him in as his QB2 or a f- super flex position if needed. Um, Elijah Mitchell, I, I think he's hurt right now, so I think he's questionable to play. Uh, he's doubtful at this point, so I think uh, Jamichael Hasty, I think, is going to take over as the, uh, you know, maybe the, the lion's share carry of the, you know, the carrier there. And I think Mostert is still out too, isn't he? Yeah, he's, jeez, uh, man, their their running backs are tough right now. So um, I would say stay away from every one of the running backs for for the Niners right now at this point. Debo Samuel, start, start, start. The guy's a beast. End of story. Love Debo Samuel. Uh, George Kittle, for sure, that's a start, no question. Uh, if you need a little depth, wide receiver, you know, 2-3. Uh, maybe you take a look at um, Sherfield, Trent Sherfield. Um, but other than that, you know, I would say stay away from any of the other wide receivers. Even Brandon Nayuk is not playing all that great right now. Um, but, yeah, I would say stay away from both defenses, even though it is the Niners' defense. Um, I think the uh, Packers are going to chop them up a little bit, so stay away from them if you need it, if, if you're looking for defenses. Um, Eagles, Cowboys to round it out here. This is the Monday night game. Um, I would say start both quarterbacks. I think Jalen Hurts and um, Dak Prescott are, are definitely QB ones for you. Um, Hurts can be a QB two or super flex as well. Um, Miles Sanders, he's quietly had you know a decent year. He's not really showing too too much, but fantasy wise, he's been producing about 15 points a game a week. Excuse me. Um, so I would say start Miles Sanders in a, in a RB1, 2, 3, or flex or super flex. Uh, Kenneth Gainwell is definitely somebody who's been taking some touches away from the Sanders. So if you're looking for a strong RB, you know, 3 at this point, or flex or super flex, maybe you take a look at Gainwell. Uh, Quez Watkins, um, wide receiver, I would say start. He's got a lot of upside right now. He's leading the team in receiving earth. Uh, just has no tutties right now, but I think he's due for one. Um, Devonta Smith, you know, he's a rookie this year. He's only averaging about 44 yards a game. He does have a touchdown. Um, but, you know, I mean, as expected as a, uh, as a rookie, um, you know, keep him in as a wide receiver three maybe or a flex or super flex. Uh, Dallas Goddard at tight end position. I say right now um, you do start him. Um, he's got a lot of upside right now. He's averaging only 33 yards a game with six catches for the year with a tutty. Um, but, you know, I mean, if you need a tight end or a flex or super flex, you know, maybe you take a look at um, Goddard this week. <clears throat> All right. Uh, on the Cowboys side of things, obviously Prescott, we already went over. QB1, you start him until further notice. Um, man, I really think Tony Pollard should be the starter in uh, in Dallas. So, um, I would say Tony Pollard, RB2, flex, super flex position. Zeke, unfortunately, he's still going to be the main breadwinner there, the main ball hog. Um, you know, you got to start Zeke. He could be, you know, he could be uh, due for a big game here. So, uh, CD Lamb, I think he is going to eventually take over as the, R, the wide receiver one there. Um, but between him and Amari Cooper, um, you start both of them. Um Dalton Schultz, tight end. I would say if you're hurting for tight ends, definitely throw him in the mix right there. Um, 
and I think Gallup is still out right now at this point. So um, obviously you said him. So um, definitely start both quarterbacks. Start Tony Pollard, uh, Zeke. You could do you know you can't do wrong with either one of them right now. CD and Amari. So um, I definitely think that uh, if you need a defense, you're staying away from both these defenses at this point because uh, I think there's going to be a lot of points scored. I think the over-under was right around 52.5 or something like that, 51.5. So um, you're staying away from both those defenses at this point. So um, let me know what you guys think in, this, in the comment section below. Can you tell it's a little bit late right now, and I, I, I wanted to get a video out before tomorrow morning, which is Sunday. Um, so let me know what you guys think in the, uh, the comment section below, and uh, hope to uh, see all of you guys commenting. Please make sure to hit that follow button, um, or I'm sorry, the subscribe button on YouTube. Um, me and my boy Coop, uh, Chris Kupari, who is the uh, other co-host of Follow Mouth Football, will be uh, on on Monday night going uh, once the football game is over, just reviewing you know week three as a recap, and then of course giving our picks. So um, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like the the video, and uh, start uh, start with the comment section there. So appreciate you guys. Um, thank you guys so much for the love right now. This is Palermo from Foul Mouth Football. We'll see you.